In today's episode, I'll be talking to you about my three golden rules for investing in precious metals. I've been preaching these guidelines to my clients for quite some time now. By following them, you'll save not only time in terms of researching the best products to buy, but also real money in terms of savings on your premiums and total spreads. So let's get to it. Before we get to the three golden rules, I'd like to take a minute to explain two important terms that relate to precious metals. The first being premium. What is a product premium? The product premium is the difference between the total product price and the spot price for that particular commodity. So in this example, we have a one ounce silver maple leaf, and let's say the product price for this one ounce silver maple today is 30 US dollars. And let's say for the sake of our example, the spot price today is 25 US dollars. That would make the total premium for this product five US dollars or $5 an ounce. Now that's only half of the story. You also have to keep in mind that at one point, you're probably gonna be selling this silver maple leaf sometime down the road. And so it's important to factor in the slight discount or bid above or below the spot price that you're gonna receive for this silver maple when it comes time to sell. And by adding those two numbers together, your cost to purchase and your cost to sell, you now have what is referred to as the total spread. So using again the same example, if you paid $30 today for the silver maple and somewhere down the road you sell it for $24, your total spread on that transaction is $6 US. Golden rule number one, gold has lower premiums than the other precious metal products. So even though an ounce of gold is more valuable than an ounce of silver, an ounce of platinum, or an ounce of palladium, in percentage terms, gold has the lowest premium over the spot price. So if you're looking to save a little bit, gold would be your best option in terms of premium. Golden rule number two, Bars have lower premiums than coins. Now in my hands, I have a one ounce gold bar produced by the Royal Canadian Mint, and I have a one ounce gold maple leaf produced by the Royal Canadian Mint. Both of these products contain one ounce of pure gold, both of these products are produced by the same refinery, and both of these products are four nines pure. Yet this one ounce gold bar is actually a few dollars cheaper per ounce than this one ounce coin. So if you have a budget for investing in precious metals and you wanna get the best deal possible, or more importantly, the most gold that you can for your dollars, I'd recommend that you lean towards bars over coins if given the choice. Now people often ask, why is it more expensive to purchase a one ounce coin versus a one ounce bar? And the answer is actually quite simple. The mints price these products more expensively right out of the door. So as they're sold on to distributors and wholesalers, the cost per ounce out of the door is actually higher for the coin than the bars. The second reason is, is that coins tend to be in higher demand overall than bars, but that's not always justified, as I pointed out in the example. Golden rule number three, and I'm gonna use silver for this example. Larger bars have lower premiums per ounce than smaller bars. So it's a very simple rule, and like most things in life, when you scale up or when you buy a larger format of a product, you're going to save. Think of going to Costco, it's the same concept basically. And in this example, if I were to buy a 100 ounce silver bar versus 10 10 ounce silver bars, I'd probably be saving a percent or two. Now if you multiply that out over the lifetime of investing in precious metals, or in a large purchase of precious metals, the savings can be quite significant. So when thinking about larger purchases, definitely lean towards the largest format that you can purchase. So in summary, rule number one, gold has lower premiums than silver. Rule number two, bars have lower premiums than coins. And rule number three, larger bars have lower premiums than smaller bars. So if you take all of those rules and you were only to purchase or invest in one precious metal, that would lead you to purchase the largest format of gold bar that you could. Now keep in mind, we're only talking about premiums here. There are other considerations, obviously, when constructing your precious metals portfolio. And over time, we always recommend that you diversify amongst the different precious metals. Now, rules number two and three can be applied to silver as well, so keep that in mind. Before we close out today's episode, I wanted to leave you with two bonus tips. Tip number one is very simple. Always deal with a reputable precious metals dealer. Now this might be someone in your hometown or a dealer that you found online by doing your research or us here at SWP. 
My second tip is don't be taken by the first offer that you're presented with. You're gonna be receiving a lot of promotional emails. Maybe you've signed up for some precious metal newsletters. Remember to apply the three golden rules and other guidelines that we spoke about today before you make the final decisions on which precious metal products to add to your portfolio.